Um, yeah, my name's Richard Welsh. I run a thing called Low Council. What Low Council does and what our role is is to essentially help agencies and the brands which we represent understand the future. A lot of people would call it trend forecasting. We're, we're not interested in, in necessarily trends. What we're interested in is looking at big major shifts in culture that will change people's attitudes to life, attitudes to purchasing behavior, um, and will have profound effect. And we study emerging behavior and attitudes before they hit and reach the mainstream. You'll be surprised at how many brand managers that you'll start working with um, tend to be incredibly disconnected from their target consumer. And it's our role to try to bring that target consumer to life, not in the traditional sense, but I employ 2,000 individuals in 50, 58, 60 cities worldwide. You can see the distribution of the cities there. Um, these are all what we consider to be leading edge individuals. And the definition of leading edge is essentially an individual who is pushing the boundaries of contemporary culture. So they're not interested in the status quo, they question things. So if we break up society at low council, we put them into five different sort of groups. Visionaries, um, opinion leaders and early adopters, then we call mainstream specialists, which is the majority of the population. Then you have people who are behind the curve, the followers, and then you have the people who are just woefully behind the curve, and they would be laggards. Now, those 2,000 individuals that we have in our network, that network helps deliver leading-edge consumer insights, or we could call them foresights, because we can actually say to a brand or to a client, you know, if you're thinking about two years ahead, this is what you should be considering. This is how your target audience potentially will change. We deliver our results in uh, four main areas, proprietary research, through films, so we, fit, we have professional videographers, through uh, online research hubs, and I'll show you uh, two of those. And then um, finally, trends. I'll be actually giving you some examples of kind of some of the trends that we've been tracking. So the online research hubs, this is one that we run for um, Rexona. We have 40 women um, from around the world, from key markets that they've, they've said to us we'd like uh, to have. They're all leading edge people, they're all from our network. And they blog about specific subjects set by the client and by us. Um, they also um, can react. So for example, if, we, if you've done a piece of work, if you've done a bit of copy, we can send it to those individuals and get their opinion. And we can basically turn that research around uh, in as little as 72 hours. So this brings the audience to life because there's video, uh, video blogging, there's obviously text and, and image. We also run a site called Accetra. This is um, for the Axe deodorant brand. Um, and this is, again, deliberately designed to bring the people who work on the brand, and that includes people at the ad agencies at BBH, uh, Low VOP down in Buenos Aires, closer to the target consumer. Um, we have 40 or uh, 50 guys um, that we question on a regular basis. So we have sections such as Axe Guy Reality, where we ask them about, you know, and in every week we ask them a question about their reality. Because obviously the target audience is 16 to 24 year old guys, pretty rapidly moving audience. Um, and for people, you know, who work in a big company, big global corporate company, they don't get out very much to see the, you know, these target consumers. So we, we basically bring them to life. And again, these are leading edge individuals um, that are reporting on it. So, you know, a lot of the things they're getting a heads up on, whether that be language, whether it be attitudes, whether it be behavior, whether it be more specific things like sports or attitudes to sexuality or to sex, we can judge that uh, and then with the client we can go on to do further research.